Welcome back to freaking Eternal Hour! Oh, we're cold now. I just kind of want this episode to go back to insanity. I fucking love it. Oh, yeah. Spot where I got the touchy boobies, and I love it. <laughs> but even as I place my hands against your chest, defenseless, bare skin, I can feel. I can't feel any trace of movement. No soft breathing, not even a heartbeat. But the titties. <laughs> no, Kodo. Why? Why won't you move? This is really bad. I should probably call an ambulance. Oi, Yasu! Where are you? I need help right now! Katoshi! What the. Uh, what now? Yasu, hurry! Damn it! Still, he can't call me Yasumasu! He, this is. So it might be serious. Maybe it's not related to Nakoto's condition, too. Come in, Katashi! I'll come back for you, Nakoto. They don't. They have pretty good bots, though. There you are! We've got a problem. And it is. What's going on? Look at Tomiko, for goodness sake! Okay, Tomiko is standing, unmoving, next to Katoshi, her face is stuck in a careless grin, staring blankly into an empty space. She looks like she can't see me or move at all. Uh, wait, is she frozen just like Nakoto? Her too? God damn it! What do you mean, too? I'd like to know as well! Nakoto is the same way, out of the endurance. Seriously? Endurance. Oh, that's messed up, man. I'll go check it out. You keep an eye on Tomiko. Make sure to touch the boobs. <laughs> Good damn it. Shouldn't we call someone? This isn't normal. Tomiko, just standing still. What's going on? I'd like to know too. I love it. I fucking love it. I can only ask so many that so many times, but I still don't see how it could possibly. Huh? Is that mist? I know we're in a cave by a lake, but that still seems somehow. You should definitely think about where you're going to. Wait. Tamako, are you okay? Yes. Wasn't I just <gasps> talking to Katashi? Oh god, um, I'd like to see how uh, Tamako is gonna react to when we talk about the third <laughs> I'd like to know. You don't remember Katashi leaving or me arriving? Oh, I think I remember my boyfriend turning into a less attractive man. God damn it! Do I at least have some sort of personality that makes me attractive? Oh wait, I'm not, uh, Yasu. Ha ha, bitch! Ouch! Well, that's... At least she looks fine. I'm sorry, that was mean. Well, you're also fucking drunk, so... <laughs> as far as I know, I can take that as a fucking compliment. I don't give it to him. 
<laughs> it's fine. Well, I mean, you're actually pretty cute in your own way. Okay, now that's just a little mean. <laughs> she said her bitch. Huh? Tamako, hey, wait. Tamako suddenly started swaying her feet and she falls forward. Yes, please. <laughs> Ooh, I got her. But now she's leaning on me for support. I can feel her body pressing against mine. Don't even motherfucking think about it. Oh man, I definitely don't want to do this to, to Katashi. Hey, Yasu. So why does Katashi always call you Yasumasu? I actually kind of like to know that as well. Um, well, you know, I think Katashi just likes how it rhymes. Typical Katashi. He has bright ideas, but he never thinks too hard about them. Damn it. He probably started dating me on a whim. Who's to say he won't just change his mind someday? Hey, don't get depressed on me! He's so cool and carefree at night. Does he really appreciate anyone? I bet he does. You, Yasu, do you appreciate me? If I say yes, what will happen? I have a bad feeling about this. I have a bad feeling about lots of things. Oh, what the heck? Do I say yes? Sure. Yeah, you get it. You get that I'm special somehow, right? Yes. God damn it, God. Good. Now kiss me. The hell? Um. God, I need to hear, man. Oh, there's a tower! Chips lizard! No! <laughs> Thank you, I would get my ass handed to me. Ten times hell Sunday! <laughs> Tamako, what are you saying? Katashi is your boyfriend, not me! Yeah. Good. I. I'm sorry, Yasu. I'm not sure what came over me. Katashi just disappeared, and I feel so... alive. You're also fucking drunk, so, uh, yes. <laughs> Please, go on. <laughs> it's probably just the alcohol. You were looking for an outlet, and for a moment you didn't care who it was. Yeah, that's probably it. You're right. You're a good friend. <sighs> that doesn't hurt as much as I thought I would. Any ordinary man would love to kiss me. Damn it. Should <laughs> take it a minute. I don't mean to brag, <laughs> but I am the best girl in school. Damn it. All the guys drool over me. I'm great at sports. Fuck. I'm shit at all of us. I've never done sports. <laughs> and now she's rambling about herself. Oh boy, maybe it uh, was better than uh, was inches away from betrayal. Oh, I thought that was my phone for a second. <laughs> phone buzzing. Perfect timing, Katashi. Katashi is now okay. okay. Yeah, I thought she was acting funny too. She snapped out of it a bit after I arrived, though. It took me a while to get her to calm down. 
She probably drank too much. How's my baby doing? She's doing fine. Yamako is good too, but she's pretty hammered. Maybe we should leave. I was thinking the same thing. Bring her to the entrance and we'll head out. Leave the supplies. I'll pick them up later. Cool. Good to see that Katashi is, has his priority straight. So far. I'll be right there, right over. Tamako, let's head to the cave entrance. Okay. I'll race you there. <laughs> He's still fucking drunk, god damn it. I take it. <laughs> yes, please. <laughs> Tamako runs off on usual feet, giggling happily to herself. Alcohol sucks! Why do I... Why do so many people drink it? Please, hand me another beer! Huh? What's that? I stop for a moment to hold my breath after all this running behind some something seems to be bugging me. That's weird. Symbol covering right into the floor of the cave. God dang it. We're getting into some fucking voodoo shit. <laughs> I never seen anything like this before. Yeah. Why is this okay, it's glowing, that's a bad thing. Glowing circle things are bad. Voodoo shit is even worse. <laughs> the drawing looks surprisingly fresh and it seems to be glowing. That's bizarre. Time to grab Jojo. <laughs> Who goes into a cave and carves some kind of rune? Are some silly kids pretending to be wizards? Okay, if it's glowing, you must at least think it. Hey, yeah, you at least need to know this can't quite be wizards. Actually. A chill ran down the spine. A chill ran down my spine as I keep looking at the cave cavern. Something errs about it, and my mind can't perceive that. Don't tell me it's the ants. Did she do this? That's a bad thing. Uh, it's urg origin aside, the whole thing seems like it's been cut out from another place and forcibly uh, placed here. The area around is dusty and seems to have been here for ages, but the symbol is uh, persistent. There is no bit of stone on the lines of the circle, and there is no sign of disturbance in its path. Okay, can we go back to the titty situation? I seem to like that one better than this. <laughs> It seems covered on the stone floor, but there's no there are no shavings. Who would clean after something like this? Uh Please tell me we get more titty situations. I like those. <laughs> It looks like it's glowing slowly down for some reason. I think my mind is playing tricks on me, like the end of this episode! I, I still have a bad feeling about this. Like, no joke. I like the booby situation quite a bit more than uh, this one. 
Specifically, I wonder why. Please don't kill me later. I'd like to live. Uh, my dis Discord link will be in the description as always. I'll see you guys next episode. See you guys there. God damn it. I'd like to go back to what happened before.